Selecting people within a photo. That is easily one of the most common things people have to master in Adobe Photoshop. And I'm about to show you how that simple task has gotten a whole lot easier with the Select People feature. Now, the heart of this feature is an improved method on tools that have existed before, but they've been simplified and given us a level of control that we've never had before. To activate this tool, all we have to do is go over here to our Object Selection tool, or we can use the W shortcut to bring that up. Now, with that tool selected, we can see up at the top, we get this Select People button. And if we click on that, we can see it's automatically detected the people within our photograph. It even gives us a little thumbnail of each person. And if we scroll over one of those thumbnails, it highlights the person in our photo. So we can control which person we're selecting based on those thumbnails. Alternatively, if we scroll over this button on the far left, it will highlight all of the people in the photo. And we can also see that it treats some objects a little separately. So each of their drinks are not selected, as well as any glasses within the photo. In my experience, sometimes it treats those as part of the person, sometimes it doesn't. But more often than not, I would say it treats the glasses as separate from the individual. So you would have to select those separately if you wanted them. And then if we click on one of these thumbnails, we can get even more wild with it. It gives us several options for different areas of each person that we can select. So if we scroll over these, we see that we have some options for hair. We have some options for the nose. We have options for mouth, which highlights the lips. Options for facial skin, upper body skin, arms. Just a really impressive array of options that it gives us. Then we also see that we have the options for upper clothes and lower clothes, which for me personally are the options that I find most helpful because it allows you to edit clothing very easily. Now I'll also note that there's a selection down here for accessories, which can highlight things like rings, necklaces, earrings, things like that. I will say it's a little bit less accurate than the other options, just because those things are much smaller than the other parts of the body. So Photoshop seems to have a little bit harder time figuring those out, but I imagine in future versions of Photoshop, that'll get even better. Another fun thing to notice is even if we don't use this menu, now that it's detected the people within our photograph, if we take our object selection tool and run it over our subject, it is now highlighting those different parts of the body the same way that it would with our select people menu. And if you want to select an entire person, just scroll to the edge of that person and then you'll get the entire selection. That way we can choose for ourselves how we actually want to use these tools. Now in our case, let's just say that we want to select this person here and we want to select their lower clothes, which in this case will select her skirt. So we click on that, then all we have to do is click apply. And now we have that selection loaded in. Now with that selection loaded, we can go down here and click on a new adjustment layer and we'll select hue and saturation. And you can see because we had that selection loaded, it's automatically made our layer mask. So as we move this hue slider, it's only selecting that one area. So we can go and make this kind of a fuchsia color. This way we can change the color of the clothing really, really easily, letting us make some fine tuned adjustments without altering our entire photograph. And since we have that layer mask applied, we can really easily refine that selection later on if we need to. And that's it. That's how you use the select people function in Adobe Photoshop. And now that you have that mastered, have you ever wondered how to colorize old black and white photos in Photoshop? I have a video right here to walk you through how to do just that.